This video addresses the fifth grade math standard of using formulas to find volume, specifically of rectangular prisms. There are two formulas that we are going to be working with today. The first is length times width times height, and the second one is the area of the base times the height, both of which can be used to find the volume of a rectangular prism. Now, before we get into the multiplication and using the formula, I want to address the terms length, width, and height. Many students get hung up on which one is length, which one is width, and which one is height. And for the most part, it doesn't really matter. Those terms are interchangeable. You just need to have measurement one going up and down, measurement two going side to side, and measurement three kind of going diagonal. In other words, you can't use this side, this side, and this side because the top and the bottom are actually the same measurement. Okay, very simply put, if this were four inches, this were six inches, and this were three inches, my volume would be length times width times height, four times six times three. And in order to do this, we multiply the first two, four times six is 24, and then multiply that by three. Four times three is 12, two times three is six, plus one is 72. So the answer is 72 cubic inches. Let's do another example real quick. Five feet, 10 feet, two feet. Five times 10 is 50, times two is 100, or 100 cubic feet. Okay, the other formula, area of the base times the height. In this example, they give you the area of the base. And you'll notice the area of the base because whatever number they have will be along with the unit square. That two indicates that they're talking about area. So let's do an example. Let's say the area of the base was 20 centimeters squared. I know that's area because of the two. That indicates that squared, which is how area is measured. And the height, let's say, is 10 centimeters. Very simply put, it's 20, which is the area of the base, times 10, or 200 cubic centimeters. And those are the two formulas you can use to find the volume of a rectangular prism. I will now show a couple of examples using each formula. In this first example, I'm going to give you all side lengths. Four yards, three yards, and two yards. Well, length times width times height equals volume. Four times three times two. Four times three is 12 times 2 is 24, or 24 cubic yards. So if they give you the side lengths, you multiply. But what were to happen if they gave you the volume, but you're missing a side length? So for example, if the volume here was 144 cubic feet, and they gave you the height as 2 feet, and the depth as 6 feet, what would the width be? Well, to find this out, we're actually going to have to divide. Now, I could divide 144 by 2 and then by 6, or I could multiply what I have, 2 times 6, that gives me 12, and then divide. And here's how it looks with your formula. We have 2 times 6 times something gives me 144. Well, we know that 2 times 6 is 12, so 12 times what is 144. You can either know that as a math fact or divide 144 by 12 and you get 12. So the width must be 12 feet. So to reiterate, if you're given the side lengths, you multiply. If you're given the volume, you're going to end up dividing. Okay, let's take a look at what this looks like using the other formula. If you're given the area of the base as 30 centimeters squared and the height is 6 centimeters, then the volume is 6 times 30 or 180 cubic centimeters. However, what if they gave you the volume in the area of the base? Hmm. 
The volume is 200 cubic inches, and the area of the base is 20 square inches. Well, again, if they give you the volume, you're going to need to divide 200 divided by 20, or 10. So the height must be 10 inches. Again, if you're trying to find the volume, you multiply. If they give you the volume, you're going to need to divide. What you need to take away from this video. One, for rectangular prisms, there are two volume formulas. Length times width times height, and the area of the base times the height. Both of which work for any rectangular prism. Two, side lengths can be changed in the formula. You can multiply them as length times width times height, or for example, width times height times length, or rearrange the measurements however you like. Three, if given side lengths, multiply. If given the volume, divide.